I'm going to demonstrate why the new iPad mini suffers from jelly scrolling by using a slow motion camera. Here we have the new iPad mini 6 in portrait orientation and to demonstrate the jelly scrolling issue, I need a very long photo. So I used the tablet to take a photo of myself and then cropped it so that the photo is longer. Vincent walks into a bar. Bartender asks, why the long face? Vincent said, to demonstrate jelly scrolling. That's a punchline you don't hear every day. This is what happens in real time when I scroll my Harry Potter lookalike contest mugshot. Now, let's slow down the footage to 240 frames per second, and perhaps you can start seeing that the right side of the screen with the new iPad mini in portrait orientation is actually refreshing faster than the left side of the screen. To make it even clearer, I'm going to slow down the footage to 480 frames per second. Hopefully you can now see that as I scroll up, the right side of the screen is updated first, then progressively followed by the left side of the screen. And in case you are interested, here's 1000 frames per second. So slow mode that I had to put in some background music. This phenomenon is caused by a strange decision by Apple to refresh the screen on the iPad mini in an unusual way. You see, on an LCD screen which is a sample and hold display, the screen is usually refreshed from top to bottom. For gamers among you who are familiar with how reviewers like me measure input lag on televisions and monitors, this is the reason why if you measure the flashing box on the top left corner of the screen, the figure will always read lower than measuring the flashing box at the bottom. That's why most reviewers measure the middle box for an apples to apples comparison. See what I did there. Indeed, on the old iPad mini, I think I have the second generation. I can't afford to buy a new one every two years. If you place it in portrait mode, the tablet will refresh correctly from top to bottom, so you won't see any jelly scrolling effect. I'm not sure why Apple suddenly decided to change the refresh orientation on the new iPad mini 6. Maybe the engineers had to place the T-Con on the right side of the tablet to accommodate other components such as the A15 Bionic chip or the battery, who knows. But most people tend to hold their iPad mini like an e-reader, namely in portrait orientation. So when the screen is being refreshed from right to left, the jelly scrolling effect becomes more prominent and noticeable. Of course, if you hold the new iPad mini in landscape orientation, then you won't see any jello effect, since the image on screen is being updated from top to bottom, or bottom to top, depending on whether you have the right side up. I'll be honest, I haven't been any good with different positions. Here's the iPad mini 6 in landscape mode, filmed at 480 frames per second and there is clearly no jelly scrolling effect. Which brings me to my number one tip to avoid the jelly scrolling issue. Try using your new iPad mini in landscape orientation. As Apple would say, you're holding it wrong. From personal experience, the iPad mini is light enough to be held in one hand in landscape mode. And if you are really struggling, use two hands, an advice that has done me good from time to time. If you still prefer to use the iPad mini 6 in portrait mode, try to scroll slower rather than go wild with your finger. A little less wrist action goes a long way. The LCD display on the new iPad mini is 60Hz, so scrolling slower will allow time for the left side of the screen to catch up to the right side, therefore minimizing the jelly scrolling effect. On future iPad minis, if Apple still insists on refreshing the screen from right to left in portrait mode, Using a 120Hz display will reduce the jelly scrolling effect too, since the image on screen is going to be updated twice as fast. I'll be spending some time measuring the peak brightness and color accuracy of this new iPad mini 6. But in the meantime, here's my comparison of the Apple Pro Display XDR versus a $43,000 reference monitor in this video here.